Todd Civic, Alex Feinberg, Feng Shui Consultant. <laughs> so you're a sports writer, correct? Not for much longer. All these young, skinny, jeaned motherfuckers are getting my stories. Your back is to the door. Exactly. And if I don't land something soon, my ass is going to be out on the street. No, literally. Your back is to the door. You have no idea what's coming. That's why you're missing out. We're going to move this desk to the wealth corner over here. To hell we are. I've been sitting at this window for 12 years. I see how much it's done for you. I'm not moving. Then you'll need a mirror ball. Think female hoop dreams. But for soccer, goal dreams. That's it. That's your headline. Think, can't you see that? No, come on. Wait, wait, don't. I, uh. People want something sexy. You know, like scandal or death. What happened to the days when sports writers wrote about sports? Maybe you're right. Let's feel it out over lunch. Feel yourself out over lunch. I've got plans. Nine months ago, world champ Oscar Morano vanished without a trace. Everybody figured his coach, Delio Sanchez, had something to do with it. The cops couldn't find a thing. Nonetheless, Delio's reputation took a hit. He lost his gym. His fighters dropped him. No one would go near the guy. Cut to today. I'm reading a blurb on an up-and-coming fighter, and guess who's in the photo? Delio. I don't know how I caught it. But I caught it. So, I went down to where this fighter was training, and there he was, in the flesh. Ready for the title? Comeback coach Delio Sanchez finds new life in a young rookie. The fans want to know what happened to Oscar. They don't give a shit about this coach. Unless you can link him to Oscar's disappearance. See, but that's a whole nother story. Besides, if the cops couldn't find anything, what makes you think I can? You're desperate, Civic. Come on, play the guy. Use that award-winning personality of yours. If you get something good, I'll find you a spot. If you dig up a body, hell, I'll give you home page. Resurrect that dying career of yours. There's your comeback story. Watch yourself up. Watch your angles. Watch your angles. You think he's as good as Oscar? You said you weren't going to make this about Oscar. We gotta get past the elephant in the room. If we don't, no one's gonna read further. Well, it's your head. Look, I mean, I know how it feels. Being scared, pulling yourself back from the brink. Trust me. Whatever it is you have to tell me, I will bring it to the best possible light. So the promoter in Delio fixed his last fight? That's what he said. Why would Delio agree to let Oscar lose? That's part of the strategy. Bottom line, Oscar took the payout. But when the time came, his ego got in the way, and he wouldn't throw the match. So the promoter went after him. What do you think? We'll see if he has a record. <laughs> No, 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 no. Records can be fixed just like fights. Delio's not the only one who's had a run-in with this guy. Look, last year he wanted my fighter to carry a rookie. I said no way. Okay, but did he threaten you? No, but a week later I got run down by a town car. We're taking the night Oscar went missing. 
What's this? It's Papa's good luck charm. Took me further than any fight I ever had. When you find someone like that, you, you protect him. You hold him close. You do anything for each other. Hey, hey, hey. Estás listo? Are you good? Talk to me. You get my text? No. I got the promoter's number. He's waiting for your call. Shit. Where's my pen? Investigating me. I wanted to ask you about Oscar's last fight. Knockout. Third round, I believe. Happened a lot sooner than most people thought it should. Well, there's a rumor that it was fixed. Well, they say all fights are fixed. Is that what Dalio told you? Now to reveal my sources. Let me give you a word of advice. Watch your back. Rumor has he's got Oscar locked up somewhere. I think he killed him. Why would he do that? Oscar was shopping around for a new coach. A man like Delio might take that as betrayal. I'm afraid to get rid of the damn thing. A couple of weeks ago I had jack shit now because of this ball of tin I got an article that's about to go live. You want my opinion? You burned out. You're seeing things. Well, just in case. Oh, no, you don't. That's been in there for years. And that is where it's going to stay. And tomorrow, I'm getting a better lock on that door. I should have buried the story. It's done. Okay, drop it. Boss, I got the wrong lock, so I'm going to have to be back, all right? I don't know how you did it. Not even I thought it would do this well. 40,000 plus shares. Man, I wouldn't want to be Delio right now. Actually, I wouldn't want to be you either. <laughs> it's Fox. I gotta take this. You never got me that body, Civic. <laughs> Todd Civic. Hi, Todd. It's Julian Brenner, Fox Sports. Hey, I just read your piece on Murado. Terrific work. Really? Oh, yeah, man. Kept me on the edge of my seat. Look, I've got a potential scandal about to break. It's an NFL linebacker who's under suspicion for domestic violence. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Hello? Todd, you, you still there? So the promoter went after him. What do you think? You find someone like that, you, you protect him. You protect him. Do anything for each other. Do anything for 